What I talk about when I talk about running by Haruki Murakami. It is not often that you come across a book on running written by a renowned novelist who is also a runner. I mean, this is a very very rare combination of a runner novelist. What you get from this kind of an author is a beautifully articulated book that all runners would be able to relate to at one level or another. And it, I don't think it is actually only limited to runners because this is not only a book on running, it's also a book about life. In his own words, Murakami-san states that this book is a kind of a memoir and uh, through the act of writing, he wanted to sort out what kind of a life he has lived, both as a runner and as a novelist. Let me get right out there and tell you that this book is not for those runners who are looking to improve their skill or improve their method or their form or to build on some kind of technique to increase their endurance. No, no, this book is not for those runners. This book is about incorporating running into your lifestyle. This book is about making running such an integral part of your life that it comes second nature to you. I mean, you do it because you just enjoy doing it. You don't do it because you need to do it or because someone told you to do it. You do it because it's just so much part of you that you just need to continue doing it just to feel alive. I was introduced to Murakami-san, the author, a few years back and instantly took to his whimsical style of writing and utterly enjoyed his books like Norwegian Wood and Hear the Wind Sing. So when I came across this book by Murakami-san on running, I was instantly interested in him as a person because uh, running is definitely a great aspect of my life too. So today we are not talking about Murakami-san the author, today we are talking about Murakami-san the runner. In this book, Murakami-san has definitely gone into the core of his being and tried to explain to us or maybe he's trying to explain it to himself who he is why does he do what he does and why what he does is so important initially when i picked up this book i thought that murakami san would be talking about his thoughts while he's running when you're running a distance of full marathon which could be any anything between three to four hours definitely your mind is going to drift or definitely you have to occupy your mind with something so i was interested to know what does an author think about when he runs. But as I started to read this book, I realized this has nothing to do with his thoughts while he's running. This has got to do with his thoughts on running. I mean, it's about, it's about Murakami-san trying to understand why does he run? Or Murakami-san try to, trying to explain to us why running is so important to him and why running is at the core of his being or how running has changed him as a person. Being an author, gives Murakami-san the power to transport his readers. I mean, you can actually feel, breathe at the essence of what he's trying to say. And through this book, he has taken us to, through so many vivid journeys. I mean, his preparation for the Boston Marathon, his preparation for the New York Marathon, how he makes it a point to run at least one marathon every year. And it's so refreshing as a runner to relate to someone at this level because uh, it's just something that you want to know everybody is experiencing and there's oneness in our thoughts and Murakami-san has has beautifully articulated his thoughts and it really makes you feel a part of the running community. His detailed account of how he once took part in a race that goes on from morning till evening is so vivid that you are literally transported to Lake Saroma in Hokkaido where this race takes place annually. This ultra marathon takes place every year and covers a distance of 62 miles. You would definitely have to go through the entire experience to understand the toll running such a distance would take upon the human body, mind and spirit. This is where Murakami-san's account of this race becomes so heartwarming and touching because he is literally taking you through every phase of this race. He is describing what's happening to his body, how it's breaking down. He's describing what's happening to his mind. He's describing what's happening to his spirit. So every aspect of this race he has covered in a very detailed manner. And definitely this is one of the highlights for me in this book that how he ran a distance of 62 miles. During the course of this ultra marathon, Murakami-san talks about reaching a point where he suddenly feels he has passed through something. He's passed through something. 
This point he reaches at about the 47th mile marker. Now, this point is something very real. And I feel that most runners would agree with me that there is a point that you reach where you feel you have crossed over from the physical to the metaphysical. And really Murakami-san has taken the time to describe this feeling, this whole aspect of running in a very, very articulate manner, which all runners would definitely relate to. Now, even if you're not a runner, you need to read this book just to understand life itself. For Murakami-san is such a great writer that uh, you, there's nothing you can do but laugh with him and cry with him and just feel what he feels and you know understand what kind of a life he leads and why he is what he is. If you found any value in this review, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. It motivates us to continue reviewing new books and of course it will help our channel to grow. Thank you.